Hello, welcome to this high cut short clip. In this video I would like to show you the new 3D blanks in sheet metal. I will use this example for demonstration. We can still start the sheet development via the sheet development button. The new feature is that we can adjust the development in advance in this dialog. I can say, for example, that the sheet alignment should be defined via edge selection or automatically. In this case, I choose edge selection. I select the edge and place the sheet development here. The settings, for example, whether a representation of the bend lines is desired or the bend zones, can be adjusted subsequently. I then select Preview and I see right away what the result will be. Maybe I want to include dimensions. Should positive or negative angles be displayed? If so, how should they be displayed? I can access the FTD, so to say, and can define what the final product should look like. It continues with cross break height, cross break angle, and I can once more access the auxiliary text and define what attributes should be put out. Moreover, you can modify additional settings, for example, what the sheet development edges should look like regarding line color and line type. This can be adjusted here for all the parameters you can see right now. Whether it's crosshairs, bend zones, etc., I can define them differently. It is also possible to save the settings as favorite. This allows you to create developments for sheet metal processing plants, which might function as supplier without having to change the settings each time. I am going to create this development now, and then click on it. By a right-clicking, one could suppress an update. This means that changes made on the sheet will not be transferred to this sheet development. Maybe I want to preserve an old version and can thus suppress an update. If I allow an update again, I could of course change the development subsequently. I can enter this dialog again and I could decide, for example, not to have the bend zone displayed, and it could be taken out of the development. Now I suppress an update and create a new sheet development. At this point I could maybe modify the sheet, for example add a cross break. I create a new sheet development, select the same edge. I might make the settings a favorite first. I have already created a favorite called Blechna XY. I pick the edge and place the whole development here. As you can see, I have already adjusted the auxiliary text so that the drawing number is included, as well as the item number and the sheet development. I confirm with OK. I have not yet suppressed an update for this development. This means if I change the sheet itself, for example, change the flange to 100 millimeters, I could see a graphic plugin on this sheet right away, which signifies that the sheet is not updated. In the past, you could tell by the dotted rectangle with a cross in the middle that the sheet development was not updated. However, this was often overlooked at first. Now there is a graphic plugin, which means that I instantly see that the development is not up to date. I can update it by right clicking on it. 
This one will not be modified as I have suppressed the update for this sheet development. I could unset the suppression subsequently and it would be updated too. So why is it called 3D blanks? The answer is that this is also a 3D part which could be shaded and so forth. One more thing. If I turn the sheet and want the original back, I need to transform it back to the required position by default. It is possible to change this behavior in the configuration management. You have to click on Visualization, Views, and then Automatic Locking of Created New Development Views. By default it is set to Do Not Lock, however we want to lock it, and thus the next cheap development which I create will automatically be locked. This means if I take the sheet here, turn it and release the middle mouse button, it jumps back to its original view. Okay, if you like this video, be sure to have a look at the other videos regarding the new features. Thank you for watching and goodbye.